Item Tamil Sanskrit, item or iam or iam is a Tamil, Sanskrit word which denotes location or position or place. In grammar it is used at the beginning or middle of a sentence as a nominative or attributive pronoun, combined with or without ya, adds emphasis to other nouns, propositions etc., and means, this, here or yonder, present or seen nearby, fit for, or without reference to noun refers to etad that or to what precedes. Overview In the Bhagavad Gita sloka in the phrase item astidam api me the word, item, has been used to mean this, this it is, this also mine, and in the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad stanza I I. in the phrase paryaptam tividam etesam, meaning, sufficient though that of these, item used as etad refers to that, whereas in stanza 2.5.9 in the phrase I am stanaitna, meaning, thunder is vayu, I am refers to is. In the phrase Brahma item sarvam, which means, Brahman possessing all the qualities is all pervading, the word item is used in the sense of it is, the Atman is identified with item sarvam, and the same phrase also expresses the whole world because the world springs from the Atman as is indicated in stanza v.ie.1. In the Vedas, item as iam has been used as a subject in nominal sentences as an equivalent of a proposition. Connotation In Pada 32 of Book 2 ch. IV of his Ashtadayi Panini, who states that words apply per object, explains that Itamanvadesanudata tritiadao in the room of item this, in case of its re-employment in a subsequent member of the same sentence and referring to the same thing anvedsha i.e. adesha after re-employment there is the substitution of as which is a anudata i.e. gravely accented, when the third case affix and the rest follow. That means a replaces item in all cases except the nominative and the accusative. In this context Katayana stipulates that one should specify a pronominal used in subsequently referring to something should be co-referential with a previously used term because replacement by an anaphoric pronoun should not possibly be allowed where there is not co-reference. And, with regard to tadita affixation abstract patterns like tasa item prescribing a genitive relationship, tad asman prescribing a locative relationship and tat karati prescribing an action meaning involving an accusative relationship have been identified. The genitive form of items is explained as a stanioga sasthi and the locative form is explained as parasoptomy when a case ending beginning with the instrumental case endings follows. A substitute which has s as an it letter replaces the whole of the original form, which step requires an anubanda. Kayata tells us that words with krta and taditha affixes denoting bhava being extended for bhava to mean dravya object would result in dravya, a pronoun, referring to anything not specified, i.e., to an individual object or locus. According to Patanjali, the verb as means bhava or kriya. The term, kriyadharma the properties of an action, is also used in contrast with the terms dravyadharma and sattvadharma, and Helaraha states that which has the latter two is something that can be referred to by demonstratives such as item this and tad that. .In Pali language, ida and item are accusative singular neuters as is the original etad or agad. In Tamil literature item refers to land, landscape or place, which word is one of the six forming the three sets of oppositions, item pairs in opposition with kalam time i.e. idavakupayar that gives name to a place or to something in or from that place, and kalavakupayar which applies the name of a time or season to something that occurs in time and season, menard according to whose criteria repetition would imply an adverb and a declined form indicates a pronoun considers item in the phrase item sarvam as an adverb but item Item of the Shatapatha Brahmana, stanza 7.4.1.25, firstly implies the article and thereafter the all, the absolute totality, which removes the antithesis of I am this and ASAU yonder world. Madhvacharya, consistent with Samkhya philosophy and Sayana with Advaita Vedanta, take item occurring in the first line na vi janami yadavedamasmi ninya sanado manasa karami in mantra I 164.37 of the Rig Veda to mean the universe instead of its adverb proverbial meaning, here", where the word samnado means ignorance rather than skepticism. <inaudible> Vedic elucidation 
The Bhagavad Gita's and the post-Vedic use of item and tad refers to the Absolute or Brahman or the All, i.e. to that which the Vedic sages sought to clarify. The item occurring in the beginning of Rig Veda Mantra X 135.7 refers to the seat of Yama where is heard the sound of Yama's flute which no mortal can resist. Item is the nominative singular neuter demonstrative pronouns, being and non being the singular subject which is one without a second, in which condition it applies to anything falling within the range of human experience. Advaita elucidation According to Sankara, Aham I sense secured in introspection, Visayi and Idam thou sense sense secured in extrospection, Visaya are polarly related, they are as opposed as light and darkness. Idam Brahman refers to Etadakshara, Brahman as the objective unity and the Tadakshara, Brahman refers to the subject, the Atman i.e. Brahman as itself, which cannot be an object matter of pramana jnana since the Atman is non-dual and does not have the knowing and the known in it. Reality is to be cognized objectively as an item as the goal by looking inwards otherwise the vidi vacuas would serve no purpose. Beyond I is not any person knower or doer but the transcendental ground of I. The unspeakable, the indeterminate cannot be spoken about directly. Sankara condemns avidya or adhyasa, the wrong apprehension of a content where it is not nor can ever be, which the true knowledge of item or Brahman alone can eradicate. The item aspect of ahamkara reflected by the light of the pure self becomes the object of the I sense. Brahman cannot be known in the objective attitude as an object somewhere in the beyond as an item. Advaita Vedanta holds Brahman as the Atman and Brahman as item sarvam. All this. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Yoga and Shaivite elucidation. The yoga school of Hindu philosophy considers the individual self inseparable from and identical with the universal self. Shiva represents the supreme consciousness Brahman, the subject consciousness, which is the positive Shiva tattva is called Aham and the object power of consciousness which is the negative Shakti tattva is called item this, the former which pervades the 35 tattvas being passive is dependent on Shakti item for creation to occur. The three principal modes of Shakti are Iccha Shakti will power, Jnana Shakti power of knowledge and Kriya Shakti power of action. Sadashiva Tattva, which is the first thing with a cause, identified with Iccha Shakti consists of both Aham, and Idam. Ishvara Tattva identified with Jnana Shakti accounts for Aham recognizing Idam, and Sadvidya Tattva identified with Kriya Shakti as the complete subject-object unity. In CIT Shakti, Ananda Shakti, Iccha Shakti, Jnana Shakti and Kriya Shakti the Svatantreya of Shiva is reflected. Shakti Tattva too is a reflection of Shiva Shakti. The four tattvas are not created by the energies of Shiva but are an expression or ushma heat of his true nature. Suddhavidya is the real state of Shiva or the state of Aham Aham Idam Ida, Ishvara which is the state of Idam Aham, Sadashiva is the state of Aham Idam and Shakti is the state of Aham. In the first section of Aham Aham Idam Idam, Aham Aham signifies the stable state associated with one's cognition of the real nature of self, the truth of this universe, and the second section Idam Idam signifies the unstable state when one experiences the universe as false and unreal. The fourth energy called the Pralayakala Pramatri Shakti makes one reside in the state of Suddhavidya. Shaivism defines Sristi creation". As the act of the Supreme Lord making item object appear through self-manifestation in the background of akasha void or space created by self-limitation or self-negation. Here item signifies the anatman which idamta though not different from ahamta is not eternal, the self-experience of ahamta prevails over the self-experience of indistinct idamta which disappears on attaining the stithi state, aham eva item, I am all this. Idamta, a self-extension, aids in the realization of Paramshiva. <laughs> <laughs> Shiva 